in March 2020. <laughs> So what are your thoughts on Emerge 2020? Um, I think it was an awesome, incredible event. I think we need a lot more like it here in the island and in the Caribbean to show us as small island nations that every success story isn't outside of us or beyond us, but they're actually within our reach and within our grasp. Oh, it was an excellent production. Kudos to Raphael on his first Emerge. It was excellent. It really was. I learned a lot. I've seen a lot of faces that I didn't even know existed in Barbados and I think it was a wonderful event give me a chance to know about more talent in Barbados and it was really good my opinion of the show was that it was very inspiring seeing not only young children but they also had the old people who well, are not really old but you know aged and it would inspire me to do well and focus on my dream and continue doing well Tell us, how do you feel having your daughter win an award here at Emerge 2020? I'm extremely proud of her, Hannah. She's been very passionate about what, she, what she's doing, and she's been that from a very early age. So I'm very, very happy for her. What would you like to see more from her as her growth continues with her movement? I, I think she's doing what she's, she's passionate about and happy about. So I think that she will just go further on her own. I don't even need to, to say what I need to see more. I think she'll do that on her own. I just want to say how extremely proud I am of Camille. Of course, I'm her mummy. Um, I've always been involved in the charity. In fact, I started in my home. But I have watched her over the years reach out to women. I've watched her support women, even sometimes when they're not appreciative. And it brought me tremendous joy. You have no idea. I've watched her deal with the, all of the talk that people have had in the media and all that. And to see her go on that stage tonight, and to see her being recognized in that way brought me tremendous, tremendous joy. I'm extremely proud of her. And I'm looking forward to everything that God has for her in the future. Um, she left a job to go into the charity full time. And that's a tremendous sacrifice, of course. So, Raphael. <laughs> Yes. Now that it is all over, yeah. I know we've spoken about this off camera, yeah. you've been saying you want to do this thing for the longest well, I know I hear bursts with people, <laughs> and people have such a great time, the awardees feel recognized in almost every area you could think of. How do you feel now, now that you have emerged? <laughs> it, feels, it feels amazing. Um, it's difficult for me to put into words exactly what it feels like to have a vision. In your, in your head yeah. and then see it played out in reality in front of your eyes in such with such style and flair and energy yeah. and it's one thing to have it personally but then to see how others connect with it and buy into it yeah. and then make the emerge story their own that is the that's the bonus package that's the stuff I could never have bargained for um, but it's the thing I think that makes me feel the most warm inside now that having revealed this to the world, um, now everybody can take ownership of their own emerge story and go out there and make a difference. And if somebody, can, if one person can leave this event and it lights a spark for them, and they can go out there and do something they never thought they could do, then all of this was worth it. The thing you wanted to do so much, you saw somebody else doing, and you got discouraged, and it hurt, and you threw in the towel, and you thought there's no more value in it. I'm going to tell somebody, just like my four-year-old daughter looked at me two days ago, I'm going to tell somebody, press on. If there was one piece of advice, I know you've said a lot in your own testimony on stage tonight, but if there was one pivotal piece of inspiration that you could leave with a younger person, what would that piece of information be? Woo, that's a big one, what's going on? Believe in yourself. Your relationship with yourself will determine everything else that happens. If you believe in yourself and don't wait for other people to believe in you, then you can make the necessary steps and then have the determination behind that to achieve whatever you put your mind to. Listen, it's not easy sometimes when you're young because you have your friends and it, all pressure from everywhere, you know? And you're growing up and you're doing different kinds of things. However, don't be afraid to be yourself. Just be who you are and go with that and just don't be afraid to fail and you'll be fine.
I just want to encourage all of you that you are champions and no matter what people tell you to discourage you, just use the discouragement as a boost to, you know, prove them wrong and just do what is right and push forward, press forward and pursue your dreams, your careers and don't let anybody discourage you or bring you down because you know that in the end something will work out for you. So just do what you have to do and work. <laughs> When I think about all the young people in Barbados who are doing amazing things, we really need to be their champions. We really need to encourage them. So my advice to any young person who wants to achieve something, anything, communicate with your supporters. First of all, don't be afraid to speak up and say, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to achieve, so that you can have the necessary cheerleaders. And I don't just mean the people saying rah, 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 cheerleaders in the sense of physical support that you're going to need to achieve what ever you wish and you know what write it down when you write down your hopes and dreams and aspirations it makes it real so you can look back at put the date you know what I mean look back at it so that you can start working on it and let it become real I think that is so important to push through to press on according to Raphael <laughs> you know push down push up and push through do what you have to do in order to succeed failure is when you stop doing what you know what you want to do if you push on and push through you will be successful regardless of the situation I'm gonna say patience okay. I'm gonna say give yourself time to figure things out I believe because of this microwave generation, we're just looking to get to the end result. Whatever that is, we want to get there as quickly as possible. I want to encourage you to wait. I want to encourage you to give yourself time to grow and develop and figure your own self out and learn and make mistakes and fail big so you can set yourself up for your big win in the future. Be patient and work extremely hard while you're waiting. But really, you know what, my advice is to parents. Being a mom myself, I think we need to listen to our kids when they say, I want to be this, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be a firefighter. You have to, you know what I mean, take them seriously and give them that support. And don't let what your child wants to be scare you. Because I think as parents, we have this preconceived, I want to live vicariously through my child, um, idea of what you want your child to achieve. But listen to your children and give them the support that they need, the type of support that they need. Not necessarily the support you think they need, but the support that they need to achieve whatever it is that they want to. Don't stand in their way. That's my advice to parents. I'm waiting on somebody to look within themselves and say, I have more to offer this world than what I'm presently given. And I'm willing to spend the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, how many other years I have above ground, pursuing the thing that presently rests inside. From the time Raphael engaged me in this conversation, I knew I wanted to be part of this pioneering process. And the idea, the, the one takeaway that came to me eventually throughout the whole process was discipline. You have to be disciplined and you have to be committed and find a cause, run with it and do it with all your might and to the best of your ability. For us as a sponsor, Signia Globe, this was a no-brainer. This was an easy thing for us to get involved in. We believe in personal development, the growth of the nation and anything that celebrates youth and youth uh, development, we want to be a part of that. Um, we also believe in the non-traditional means of income, so the arts and culture, because if you, the world is now the oyster for, for us and we can play our trade wherever we want to and um, we believe that this is an opportunity for Barbados to shine and so we support it we're very supportive of it and anything that Raphael Saul does will be evolving <laughs> that's the other thing I consider it a great opportunity um, to be part of this it's a wonderful initiative I had a great time this evening um, awarding some ex outstanding and exceptional and exemplary individuals you um, it, it's great just to be a part of this um, as I said I had a great time and I hope it continues year after year after year um, no doubt there will be other um, young persons emerging to be great successful individuals. It was very impactful and I want to just congratulate all the awardees. Each of the awardees had something positive to say and they are truly inspirational and everything they say I'm going to take. I started already started to think about what I'm going to do, how I'm going to press forward. So to me this evening is not only about helping with the production or working production, but I've learned myself this evening. I've learned so much already this evening for myself as takeaways. Yeah, so I'm really, really pleased, really pleased. 
And Stockholm Network was happy to be a, a media partner um, in Emerge 2020. Raphael is a part of us at Stockholm Network, so supporting him um, was big for us. And the idea itself was phenomenal, just bringing all of these successful Barbadians, young Barbadians, into the same space. Um, it's some, and to celebrate them is something that's meaningful. Also, it's uh, also something that has uh, inspired many testimony to the crowd that was here um, this evening who came out to be inspired to make a difference. So I just want to say, well done, Raphael Saul. Congratulations, and let's do it again. We will emerge. Thanks, guys. No